gold throughout the day traded in a no trade zone i told you that only buy entry was above 1821 it failed to do so likewise us 30 and us 100 has broken the buy levels and traded bullish throughout this day in fact us 30 is trading with close of 1% rise while us 100 is trading with half a percent rise now what to expect today with the us cash session in these three instruments we will see with the help of charts and indicators we will try to find out our trading levels and the trading and profitable entries do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon also remember if it's a buying entry or buying level which i mentioned you should buy and trade with a stop loss and wait for the targets if it's a selling entry you should sell and wait for the targets and trade with the trailing stop loss do not trade within the no trade zone just stick to the rules and definitely you can profit let's start first we look into gold gold on the hourly charts you can see this it has got the resistance here multiple candles getting rejecting getting rejected at 18 2021 zone now it is see and if you see the hourly charts drop retracement drop double bottom trying to rise so possibly once it breaks past 18 18 levels you can again see it hitting 18 21 and if it trades past 18 21 certainly more bullishness can be expected at the same time on the downside 18 08 is a very good support so in between 18 21 in 1808 rather you should not take any position let it give a break out and then you can trade comfortably directional movement here is bullish stochastic is looking upwards here the macd is bearish and trying to converge here the rsi is trying to look upwards and show a little strength if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts likewise see now if you connect this dot see this is a squeeze here let it break break out beyond 18 18 20 21 zone certainly more bullishness can be expected right now it is trying to consolidate a bit and on the downside 1808 is the level below which you can sell you can expect 1805 1801 levels and only below 1800 little more bearishness till towards 1795 see 1795 is going to be a very good support on the downside directional movement bullish stock has ticket bottom trying to rise macd has crossed over for a sell and this is trading with very little divergence hence you need to remain watchful there the rsi is curving again on the upside here and look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts see this is after you know getting the resistance at 18 2021 traded with drop double bottom almost here trying to retrace back a bit but at the same time this is getting a tough resistance here on the upside once it drops below the zone at 18 12 18 10 certainly till 1808 it has got very good support below that only you can expect that a little more drop can be expected here then 1804 1805 zone then 1800 and 1795 levels so similar observation what we saw on the other charts direction movement bullish stock has ticket bottom trying to rise macd is trying to converge here rsi trading near to the highs and if you look at the four hour charts likewise on the four hour charts three lower highs are seen here lower lows are seen here trying to trade within this channel you have to remain cautious between 1808 and 1821 levels let it give a breakout either which ways directional movement bullish the stock has stick was overbought looking downwards from here on the four hour charts macd is bullish trying to converge rsi trading near to the highs there and if you look at the daily charts now remember on the daily charts same thing i am repeating in my every analysis 20 period moving average giving it a very strong support with that as support it is again taken a rise but the, at the same time one must not forget that the slope has certainly changed but if you look at on the other aspect if you just ignore this it is still trying to trade in this bullish channel the highs of this channel are at 1840 1850 levels and these are my near term targets also for this month directional movement if you look at this is bullish here the stock has stick has seen a drop and now trying to look upwards the macd is trying to converge cross over for a buy here rsi trading near to the highs considering this i will recommend you not to trade between 1821 and 1808 levels for this 13 dollars stay away from trading gold as we saw earlier in the day 1814 levels is breached but failed to go past 1812 1810 1808 these are the levels very near by resistance and hence you have to stay away from trading or shorting gold bit till 1808 levels only below that a little more bearishness can be expected which might take it for 1804 1801 the and then 1795 1790 levels i don't think so that it will break it has shown good strength and it might continue to do so beyond 1821 target first 1825 and then beyond that 1836 1845 50 levels to be seen take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at nasdaq 100 
now look at nasdaq 100 on the hourly charts certainly trying to trade within this triangle the support there till 11050 is very very strong only sell entry i will recommend is below 11050 only buy entry is above 11150 till the time it trades between this 100 points do not trade above that 11200 300 385 remember i have told you several times here it has to break past this zone at 350 and 400 for it to successively trade bullish and hence you need to remain watchful possibility exists that it may try to hit 11200 levels directional movement bearish stochastic trying to look upwards on the early charts macd is crossing over for a sell right now it was till now it was in green rsi is trying to trade bullish and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts see on the two hour charts it appears it has seen the cusp here but any breakout beyond this cusp certainly is going to be a very good breakout taking it to 11 200 300 and 400 levels directional movement is bearish the stock is still comfortable it has seen a little drop macd is in green trying to converge rsi is trading flat and if you look at the 3 hour charts likewise on the 3 hour charts see certainly it has created a wall any drop below 11050 certainly will bring again the bears above 11150 you can definitely expect a good rise similar observation it is bearish on the 3 hour charts directional movement stock is still was overbought now trying to drop a bit MACD is trading with divergence and bullishness, RSI is looking upwards, showing its strength and if you look at the 4 hour charts, now look at the 4 hour charts here, on the 4 hour charts also, on the 4 hour charts you can see this, it is trying to trade within this channel, let it break out past 11150 then you can certainly expect that I will be looking forward to 11300 levels, 200, 300 certainly achievable, in fact 400 is achievable, in fact it can fly beyond those levels also. Directional movement bearish, stochastic is overbought here, looking downwards. The MACD is still divergent, still bullish. This crossover is happening at bottom in the morning also, I told you. And it can stay in this bullish momentum. And if you look at the RSI, this is this was trading oversold, now trying to come out of the oversold zone. Showing little strength. Now look at the daily chart. On the daily charts, now if you look at the daily charts more broadly, you will find, see this higher highs higher lows so this is still a bullish channel here and this also indicates that there is a probability for it to bounce back again how far it can stretch it can go till towards 12500 12800 but then it has to show extreme bullish momentum and yes if you look at the daily charts here here it is trying to show a little reversal see the previous candle had a sharp tail and a very small body this also indicates a reversal indication but then this candle has to at least come back to this zone which is at 11300 levels so once it breaks past 11300 the next candle will certainly try to take it further up till towards 11500 600 and beyond that sky is the limit on the upside so once it breaks past 11150 one can stay long and expect little more bullishness Dire direction movement is bearish here the stock i stick is oversold which gives a good opportunity for it to rise the MACD is extremely divergent and bearish from here possibly it must converge the RSI is trading at bottom and hence in between 11.050 and 11.150 do not take any position in NASDAQ 100 above and below you can take your trades below 11.050 on the upside I have already told you the levels on the downside below 11.050 first at 10.970 then 10.940 and only below this zone you can expect that the bears might prevail else it is going to bounce back and it is going to bounce back strong take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at Dow Jones. US 30 on the early charts is getting strong. Now 33100 is going to act as a support. It is looking forward to 33180200 which it might definitely achieve. And once it breaks past 32200, my next target is going to be 33400 levels which is definitely a very very strong support level. We have seen this in past. I have told you several times earlier and I will be looking forward to this support zone again. And beyond 33400 we may see it trading entering into bullish zone. Now see this is a bullish channel in which it is, it is trying to trade the highs of this channel are at 33200 300 levels possibility exists that it can try to achieve these levels today itself on the downside only sell entry i will recommend is below the zone rather i will say only sell entry today is below 33000 levels below which you can expect a little more drop till 32800 do not consider this as bearish directional movement bullish stock i stick on the early charts is overbought the macd is bullish trading in green RSI is looking upwards and if you look at the 2 hour chart 
on the two hour charts again trading bullish here and now possibly looking at 33 400 levels if not today possibly by tomorrow we may see it hitting 32 33 400 levels and yes on the downside 33,000 is a very good support till the time it trades above 33,000 one can stay long directional movement is bullish the stock I stick is overbought and see it is again going up the MACD is in green trading divergent and bullish RSI is also looking upwards and if you look at the 3 hour charts now look at the 3 hour charts after taking the support here it is trying to write 33,000 33, certainly is going to be a very good resistance level now it is rather a support level first target at 33,200 and then 33,400 levels might get achieved 33,400 now is going to be a very good resistance directional movement bearish and trying to converge crossover for a buy entry stochastic is overbought it may cool down a bit MACD is divergent and bullish it can probably continue to trade bullish RSI is looking upwards showing little strength now look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts only sell entry as I said is below 33,000 today below that also till 32,800 it can bounce back any point of time do not consider this as bearish till the time it trades above 32,800 levels on the upside you can expect 33,400 and in fact beyond that on the upside further rise is possible till towards 33,500 levels beyond that sky is the limit and possibly we may see it hitting 33,800 levels if not today possibly tomorrow or this week we may see it achieving those levels Directional movement crossing over for a sell stock is taking extremely overbought on the 4 hour charts there could be a possibility of a little drop the MACD is extremely divergent and bullish the stock is taking is also RSI is also trying to rise is showing strength there now look at the daily charts on the daily charts with the 33,000 as a support it is trying to rise first target should be at around 33,200 then 33,300 and 33,400 till here till 33400 and 500 very very strong resistance exists and the possibility for it to achieve these levels also exists is strong hence i will look forward to 33400 500 levels if not today possibly by tomorrow directional movement bearish trying to converge stochastic trading over sold now trying to rise the macd is bearish trying to convert the rsi is also trying to rise and hence only sell entry today is below 33000 levels below which you can expect it to trade bearish else it may continue to trade bullish target should be 33300 400 500 till 500 very much possible that it can try to achieve if not today possibly by tomorrow we may see 33400 500 levels beyond that we may see it rising further till towards 33800 you have to watch a little here and definitely the momentum is bullish we can expect 33300 400 500 levels take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you